Hi everybody, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and today we are going to be installing the Origin Client on your Steam Deck, and then we are going to download and install Burnout Paradise Remastered, and we're going to set it all up so that you can easily launch it from the gaming side of Steam Deck. Let's get busy. So you'll notice right away you cannot download the Origin Client because it thinks you're on Linux and, well, you can't download it. If we were on Windows, you could. So you have a couple of choices here. One, you could go download this on a Windows machine and copy it over to your Steam Deck. Or, if you like, you can use my uh, locally hosted copy. And I'll have a link to this. I'll also have a One Fisher link in the description down below. And so this will be origin fin setup.exe. Okay, go ahead and save that to your downloads so we know where it is. Okay, easy peasy. We don't need the browser anymore, so let's get rid of that. Let's bring up Steam full screen. And now you're going to want to go ahead and add a non-Steam game. Hit browse. And we are going to go to Home Deck and Downloads. And you'll see that it's like, hey, where did it go? Change your file type to All Files. Then you'll see all these EXEs. There's your origin thin setup. Go ahead and select that and add selected programs. You'll then need to filter out or scroll through all of your things to find it or just go in here and type uh, origin. Uh, helps if I could type. Uh, apparently I cannot. Okay, so there's your thin setup. We're going to go ahead and run that. After we set the compatibility, because this is a Windows program after all, let's set our compatibility. And I'm using GE Proton, but you could do Proton Experimental or 701, I think, works as well. It doesn't, it doesn't super matter as long as it's fairly new. Uh, this is what I use, though, to get this all set up. All right, so now we're ready to actually run this for the first time. If you don't have a mouse and keyboard set up, I, I, would, I would do that. A Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard, that's going to make, at least a keyboard, that's going to make this a whole lot easier on you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and it's going to run this uh, first time install for the Origin. I would not create a desktop shortcut. I would not create a start menu uh, shortcut. I would not run Origin. I would not. Uh, well, you could probably keep Origin there. Share hardware, probably not. Install technical preview, no. And I have read and accept the Origin and user license. You have no choice. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and download and install the latest version of Origin. So right now... Um, it is it is essentially making, for those of you who are not familiar, Proton is essentially making a folder on your Steam Deck that looks like a Windows desktop setup, a Windows hard drive. And so it's taking all of this Origin stuff and it's putting it in there. And then it's going to try to run the actual launcher. And that's on the other screen. So let me go grab that. Okay. So then you need to sign in with your uh, email and password. And again, this is probably going to cause you some hate and discontent um, with the keyboard. So do your best, uh, and you may have to futz around with this a little bit. Um, sometimes the, especially if you're using the on-screen keyboard, forget about it. This is gonna make you mental. Um, second here. I have to actually think when I type in my password. And we're not gonna, uh, you can keep me signed in, that's okay. So when it's running, it'll keep you signed in and sign in. Okay, so now what we've done is we've actually set the client up. And once again, it opened in my other window just to be a pain. So now what we have here is a working Origins launcher. Now, we could at this moment go ahead and download Burnout Paradise Remastered. You know what? I think we're going to go ahead and do it this way. I think this makes more sense. Let's go to the game library. And of course, you have to own Burnout Paradise Remastered, right? Of course. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to download. Because I played less than an hour. I played a lot more on other platforms. Okay. So we don't need a shortcut desktop. And we don't need a start menu item. And go ahead and leave it the default. This is, this is all mumbo-jumbo Stuff going on in the background with Proton, so we're going to let that do its thing. Don't monkey with that. I have read everything. And let it go. So it's going to go ahead and download. So right now, this 
this steam launcher, I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down so we have them both on the screen here. Um, this launcher is tied to this executable, which is a setup. We don't want to run the setup every single time we hit play here. We actually want to run Burnout Paradise Remastered. We could change this shortcut to point to the origin launcher, which would also work. Or we could actually change it to Burnout Paradise. So which one do you want to do? Well, if all you're running is Burnout Paradise on Origin, and that's it, forever and ever, amen, then we're going to go ahead and set it up to be, this launcher is going to just run Burnout Paradise. If you're going to run more games from Origin, you may want to change this launcher to actually launch Origin, the launcher, not launching Burnout Paradise Remastered. And we're going to look at that a little bit more. So this is cruising right along. Burnout Paradise is not a big game, fortunately, and I am on Ethernet, so make things move a little bit quicker here. And once again, everything is sort of in a sandbox, right? So the origin thin setup was in our download folder, right? So that's not inside of a Proton like sandbox, if you will. Um, however, the origin launcher install and Burnout Paradise went to the same simulated Windows folder that Proton runs under. We do have to make a couple of changes here first before we can actually get all this running. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute as it's finalizing. Okay, so now it says play. We're gonna go ahead and go to settings and game properties. We want, you must disable origin in game and your advanced launch options, we need to add a command line argument that says skip videos. All right, so it's skip videos. You add that. We've already disabled the overlay and save. At this point, we could literally hit the play button and play Burnout Paradise Remastered. But we're going to go ahead and do something else first. We're going to go ahead and close Origin. That should free up this launcher. Unless it happens to be running in the background, which I think it is on the other screen. Ugh. All right. So if it's on the other screen, I'm sorry you can't see this. Um, bring it back up and actually exit the launcher properly. Okay. So now it should release the hold on this launcher, and it did. Perfect. Now let's go to manage. I'm sorry, properties. Eh. Properties. There we go. So you can see here that we originally pointed our target for this steam launcher to point to this thin setup. We don't want to go there anymore. We want to actually launch Burnout Paradise. Or we want to launch the Origin Launcher. So let's go ahead and hit Browse. This is where things get a little sketchy. So if you do not have hidden files turned on, which I don't, I think you, everybody should at this, at this point. Um, if you don't, you're looking for this. You could actually type it in if you, um, if you had to. Um, but we're going to go to local, dot local. So it's home, deck, dot local, share. Scroll down, go to Steam. Yeah, I know, Steam apps, right? Does this get even more crazy? And then compat data. Okay, now it's a real crapshoot because these are all non-Steam games that have been installed or Steam applications. If you sort by date modified, it is the 18th I don't know why when you select date modified, 18's not at the top. But there's only one thing we should have installed here on the 18th. Well, maybe not. Nope, that was at 2 p.m. This one was at 9.27, which is the time right now. So this is the one we're looking for. Unfortunately, these numbers are sort of randomly generated, as far as I know. There's not one that happens to um, correlate with a particular EXE. So just find the one that we just installed, looking at the date. All right, you're going to click in. Click in PFX click in drive C, and now we go into here, uh, which is uh, program files. Now, let's say you just wanted to launch the origin uh, launcher from here, right? So you're going to go into this folder, scroll down to origin.exe, and select it. At this point, well, let's do it. Why not? We're still in the compatibility mode. That's cool. So now if we hit play, give it a second. It should launch the launcher for us. There we go. It flickered. It's coming.
Okay. And then from here, you could launch Burnout Paradise. If you so desired. We're not going to do that, though. Okay. So... That's one way of do that. So that's one way of changing the shortcut. We're going to go ahead and exit. I just want to run Burnout Paradise. Let's go back here, hit Properties. We're going to browse once again, uh, and we should still be in the. Um, okay, so we need to go up one folder to Origin Games, Burnout PR, or whatever is the game you just installed, and here we go, Burnout PR.exe. Excellent. So now we can probably um, rename this at this point, right? It's no longer the origin thin setup. So if we go back in here, we're going to go ahead and change this to burnout again, paradise remastered. I'm not used to typing on this chiclet keyboard. Okay, there we go. So, if all goes well, Burnout Paradise will run, it will launch Origin on its own, it will log us into Origin, and then run the game. That's the game plan anyway. So let's go ahead and do that, and make sure this works before we kick back over into the gaming mode side. Um, you you want to play anything that you add, you want to play it from the gaming side of the, of the house, if, if possible. All right. I have a weird feeling this is going to launch everything and then it's going to go back to the other screen. <laughs> we'll see what happens, though. This won't happen in the gaming mode. All right, so uh, Origins running, blah, blah, blah. Slow going. I know at this point you're going, uh-oh, something went wrong, something went wrong. And it is. It's launching on the other, uh, it's launching on the other screen, which, of course, you can't see. So in order to get us out of this... Right? I'm going to have to turn the sound down so I don't get a copyright hit on the song. Let me turn the audio down here. Yeah, we don't need any, uh, we don't need any nonsense of uh, Guns N' Roses on here. All right, so at this point in time, um, we, we don't have any buttons to hit. So essentially, you need to work yourself out of the game from here. Um, or I believe you could do an alt, a Control-Alt-F4. I know, I'm sorry you can't see this other screen. It'd be a lot easier if I could just um, catch all this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Alt F4. All right, cool. That kicked me out of the game. Perfect. Remember, Alt F4 is Windows, um, the Windows close anything that happens to be running. So what we need to do now, though, is get ourselves back into the gaming side of the equation. That's where all this is going to work out and look great and do what we need it to do. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over. All right, so let's give it a let's give it a try. All right, so there we go. It connected to Origin. Now, hopefully, it'll run Burnout Paradise right after it. That's what we're hoping for. That's the game plan. This is looking good. All right, now we're talking. Okay, so hopefully you already have a save file for this. Um, because if you don't, you may have problems getting through this intro piece, right? Um, I already have a save file. I'm hoping you do too. Because essentially, this will just drop me right to the main menu and I can go ahead and start playing the game. You may, if you need to obtain a save file, maybe I can, I can put one up somewhere to help you out. Um, or, or maybe, maybe it's been fixed, but most people have said if they didn't have a save file already, that they had some problems. So you can see here, we're here, we're ready to go. We're, 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 we're in there and we've got our game overlay, right? We have our game overlay. We're playing it in the gaming mode. We should have maximum CPU. Uh, everything is exactly the way we would want it to be. Uh, and because I played this a long time, I've got cars, I've got bikes, I've got a little bit of everything. Um, but again, we're going to keep the audio off and there you go. You can see here we are, we're ready to roll and she looks good. And again, I apologize for lack of audio here, but
but uh, Guns N' Roses will definitely get me kick banned off of uh, YouTube. Okay, so you have a couple of different ways you can get out of here, right? Uh, probably the best to do would be to actually exit the game properly, quit and save. You could do uh, an Alt F4 on your keyboard. You could assign a back paddle key to be Alt F4 to get you out. But if you do a save and quit, this is probably the, uh, the better way to go. That'll probably allow um, the game to go ahead and sync up your cloud saves and all that stuff. I would give this just a minute. I didn't really see any indicators that said it was saving that for me, but I would give it a moment or two to make sure. Then you can hit the Steam button and you can simply exit the game like you would any other game because all we're really doing is exiting the launcher, right? And that's it. And then we're back. We're good. And that is it. So again, if you need the save game or you have the save game, remember uh, where it probably is, is in that same folder. So you probably should make a note of where that folder is just in case you have to use it. So at this point in time, if you followed along and you're all up and running, then you don't have to stick around. I was gonna show you one more time how to get to that particular folder or the path to that particular folder. And I'm gonna put that in the description below along with the links to the launcher and everything else so you'll be in good shape. So uh, let's see here. There we go, so here's our file manager. And remember downloads is where we uh, stuffed that uh, launcher setup. So we could probably go ahead and get rid of that, try to keep things clean. And now we need to go to that folder. Remember I said it was under local, share, Steam, Steam apps, compat data, and you need to, okay, 23 minutes ago, so this was our guy, right? Go in here, PFX, drive C, this particular game, probably under user somewhere. Um, but the actual executables are in here. The origin launcher's in here, along with origin games, and this is where burnout is. So maybe the save files are in here. It doesn't matter. You'll be able to find out where the save files are and put one down there if you need to. Uh, but that's that's pretty much where you need this this whole drive C. Once you're in here, these things should feel familiar to you if you're a Windows user. That's kind of what we need to do is get you into the familiar part where you can actually do this stuff. And that is it. Well, listen, I um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Please, you guys know the deal. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more Steam Deck tutorials, game videos. Uh, we got uh, we got more stuff coming, more tutorials, more emulation. We're going to teach you how to do all sorts of fun stuff here. Um, yeah. So again, thanks again so much for watching. And uh, as always, I'm Shane Armonroe, and uh, we will see you next time.